Welcome back to Geometry Classroom. Uh, in this lesson, we'll uh, talk about permutations. Uh, we have a few objectives. At the end of this lesson, we should be able to find the number of ways of uh, arranging an object, able to find the number of ways of selecting some object, object and uh, solve applications involving permutations. Now, let's define the permutation. Uh, a permutation is an arrangement of items in a particular order. In other words, order matters. Uh, we have the permutation formula given by this expression where n is the size of the set, is the total number of objects. R are the number of objects selected, right? This number R is a number that is larger or equal to zero, but is less than or equal to N, right? In other words, R cannot exceed N, right? N factorial is permutation of full sets. N minus R uh, factorial is permutation of left behind set, right? Uh, so, in a permutation, right, the, the order of the objects or outcomes is important. Each different order represents a different outcome, right? Uh, we have uh, different formulas for permutations depending on the case. We have three main cases. Uh, first, the number of per permutations of an object with no repetition allowed, right, is given by this formula. Is the in fact the formula for n factorial, right? So when the repetition is uh, not allowed. Second uh, case is when uh, the repetition is allowed and we have to find the number of permutation of R object from N objects. is given by this formula, N to the power of R, right? So when the repetition is uh, allowed, right, in each spot, in each uh, activity, we will uh, have the same number of outcomes, right, which is n. So multiplying n by itself, r times, we uh, result in this formula. Uh, and the third uh, case, when the uh, repetition is not allowed, right, and we have to find the number of per permutations of R object from N objects, right? Probably we're going to have one case of uh, uh, this uh, situation, right? Now, let's uh, have a few examples with permutations. In this example, we have to find the permutation of seven object taken four at a time. In this case, we um, have, uh, you know, uh, the possibility of uh, calculating this uh, permutation using calculator, right? So, uh, how we calculate this uh, uh, permutation by pressing menu 5, 2, right? And uh, here, uh, first, we write the value of n, which is 7, is the number that is to the left of p, right? 7. Then we press comma, because 7 and 4 are separated by comma. And in the next spot, we press 4, right? 
So next, we simply press Enter. And we get the value of permutation of seven objects taken four at a time is 840. Good. Another uh, uh, case is permutation of 10 objects taken two at a time. Right? Again, we do the same thing. Let uh, yeah. So again, we press menu five two. Here ten, right? The first number, comma two. And we press enter. So would be ninety. And the last one, permutation of six object taken six at a time. Again, menu five two six comma six. Hold on. Comma six. And then hit end. Is seven hundred twenty. Good. And a few other applications with permutations in here. In how many different ways can seven floats line up for the homecoming parade? In this uh, example, the repetition is not allowed, right? And we have to uh, apply the formula for this case, right? Because we have to find the number of permutations of n objects, no repetition allowed, right? And we apply this formula. Yes? So let's go back to our uh, slide. So we're going to have, because we have seven flow, flow, seven line, we have seven times six times five times four times three times 2, times 1, right? In fact, this uh, 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 product is 7 factorial, right? So if we use calculator, remember, we press menu 5, 1. Uh, hold on. We press 7 first, and then menu 5, 1. And then hit Enter. Is 5,040, yes? 5,040. Good. Uh, another example. A corporation has 10 members on its board of directors. In how many different ways can it elect a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer? Uh, in this case, the order matters, right? So, we have to use permutations, right? Now, we have to write P. To the left of P, we should write the size of the set, which is 10, right? Yes, because that's the number of objects that we should choose from, right? And how many such objects out of uh, 10 at a time we should choose? Four. Why? Because the board of directors consists of a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. There are four, right? Again, we use calculator to find this uh, permutation. Remember, we press menu 5, 2, right? Now, first number is 10, right? 
comma, second number is 4. Remember, don't forget, always you write the largest number, not the other number. Yes, and then you press Enter. So, we have 5,040 ways of choosing the board of directors. Good. Another example. Suppose you are asked to list, in order of preference, the three best movies you have seen this year. If you saw 20 movies, in how many ways can the, best, uh, the three best be chosen and ranked? Again, the order matters, right? So, <coughs> we use permutations, right? Now, to the left of P, we should write the size of the set, which is 20, right? To the right of P, we should write the number of object chosen, right? And we have 3, right? Because we choose 3, right, at a time. Again, we simply use calculator. We use uh, menu 5, 2, right? First, 20, comma, 3, and hit enter. Is 6,840, right? Good. And now, uh, the last one. How many vertical arrangements are there? of eight flags if four are white, three are blue, and one is red. Now, we have a situation here, right? Now, we go back to uh, our uh, uh, slide with uh, all uh, possible uh, cases for permutations, right? In this case, we, we are here, right? We have the number of permutations of our object from an object, no repetition allowed, right? So the formula is n factorial over n minus r factorial. Now, but what we have here We have eight flags, right? Eight factorial, right? Over. Now, we have groups of white, four white flags, and a group of three blue flags, right? we consider as uh, one group, right? So, to find all possible uh, arrangements of these uh, arrangements, uh, vertical arrangements, by dividing the number of all possible flags, right? Arrangement of flags, by four factorial, right, times 3 factorial, times 1 factorial, right? Because why we do, uh, uh, we apply this uh, uh, strategy? Because we consider all white flags as a, a unique group. Uh, all blue uh, a flex as another unique group, right? So, we have to divide, right, 8 factorial by the product of 4 factorial and 3 factorial to find all possible uh, uh, arrangement, because 
the repetition is not allowed, right? So, let's find the uh, expression, the fraction. Again, we press control and divide. On top, we press 8, then menu 5, 1. In the bottom, 4, menu 5, 1, times 3, menu 5, 1. And if we like, let, let's uh, uh, multiply by uh, 1, menu 5, 1, right? And then we hit enter. So the result would be 280 possible vertical arrangements. Yeah. So that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching my video.